In recognition of the extraordinary service they rendered by their researches into the influence of magnetism upon radiation phenomena, Hendrik Lorentz and Peter Zeeman were jointly awarded the second Nobel Prize in Physics. The resulting phenomenon, now called the Zeeman effect, was experimentally discovered by Zeeman and explained by Lorentz. And weirdly enough, Lorentz got it wrong. Mostly. During his doctoral work, Zeeman studied under Lorentz and investigated the Kerr effect, a magnetic phenomenon relating the reflection of light by magnetized surfaces. According to his own publication, he was inspired by this work in 1896 to examine whether the light emitted by a flame is also affected by a magnetic field. His secret sauce was Rowland's diffraction grating, which allowed him to precisely split the light emitted by a flame according to the frequency. Performing the measurement on burning elemental sodium, he found something surprising. When the electromagnet was switched on, the two bright spectral lines widened. That's the Zeeman effect. Magnetic fields cause the splitting of atomic spectra. Later on, he performed the same experiment on cadmium and observed a spectral line splitting from one line into three in the presence of a magnetic field. The question then was why? Remember, at this point in time, electrons hadn't even been discovered yet, but Lorentz was the first to theorize that atoms consisted of charged particles like electrons. And after hearing about Zeeman's experiments, he realized his theory explained the effect. If indeed atoms have electrons in them, and if indeed the vibrational motion of those electrons cause the emission spectra of atoms, then a magnetic field could change their behavior. In fact, his electron theory predicted exactly a splitting into three pieces, exactly accounting for the cadmium observation and also accounting for the sodium observation, if you assume it got wider because it actually split slightly. And for this discovery and explanation, they were jointly awarded the Nobel Prize in 1902. The trouble is, the sodium lines don't actually split into three lines each, they split into four and six respectively. Lorentz's explanation relied on classical physics, and in fact, the Zeeman effect is a purely quantum phenomenon. But the Nobel Committee doesn't revoke Nobel Prizes, and this wasn't understood until a few decades later. Oh well.